Hey guys, it's me, Jello Pineda, your middle class sneakerhead. Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Today's video, we do have finally, finally, an update in regards to my usage of Medic Hair. This is what they call the Miracle Hair Loss Solution, and I've been using it since June 25 of this year. A lot of you guys have been asking me uh, in different videos kung ano nang balita, ano nang updates regarding me using this hair grower right here. And finally, the update video is here. And I'm very excited to do this one for you guys. And I do hope you are too. With that being said, stay tuned. Thank you so much for checking on this video today guys and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Kung bago ko dito, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and kung matagal ka dito tol, thank you so much for sticking with me. And of course, I do know and I would acknowledge that you might come across my channel because of hair loss and hair growth products. Hindi naman talaga ako yung tipong nagre-review ng mga healthcare products and such. This is actually a sneaker channel and I review sneakers, clothing and lifestyle, anything that is related to the streetwear world. That's what I do in my channel. Four months ago, I was approached by this company right here. This is Nutriplus Laboratories Corporation and they were asking me if I would want to try their product which is called the Medic Hair. And of course, I do know that I do have receding hairline and of part of the content that I post on this channel, guys, ay uh, tungkol sa caps because mahilig ako sa mga caps. So mahilig ako nagpupunta sa mga places na nagbebenta ng caps and I do think doon nila ako nakita uh, or doon nila ako na-discover. Of course, for those people na nagkakaroon ng hair loss problems, what is the easy way na takpan yan kung hindi mag-cap? So yeah, I think for some reason, um, they came across my channel and they reached out. At first, I was really hesitant to take the deal kasi parang I don't think na meron makikinig sa akin kasi I'm not really focusing on health, I'm not really focusing on yung men's products and such. But I do understand that this is something that's very important. I do understand that it is actually a common problem towards men, especially with my age. So I took the shot, I took the risk, and I said, "Kung memo wala man, eh, possible yung buhok ko na yon, and I'm willing to take the risk with Medicare." And finally. After four months of using the product, I can say na meron siya naging results sa akin. So let me take you back before ako magbigay ng update. Prior to this one, lagi ako, as I mentioned kanina, lagi ako nagkakap and madalang nila ako mag-ayos ng buhok kasi nga, it's of course the pandemic. And prior to the pandemic, laging nakaayos ang buhok ko. So, so natatakpan ko naman kasi talaga yan dahil syempre nag-aayos tayo ng buhok, nag-i-spray tayo ng either spray net or nag-wax or something. And then on day off, lagi lang ako nakakap. So kumbaga parang hindi ko masyadong pinapansin or binibigay ng concern na naglulog lugas and uh, nagre-recede na ang aking hairline. It is actually hereditary, mother side and father side. So, what to expect for someone, again, like me in my uh, mid-30s, I would really expect na magkakaroon na ako nyan. And even if I check on other videos that I do have in this channel, papasig ko talaga na medyo mataas na nga talaga yung hairline ko. So, nag-reach out nga sila sa akin, I decided, sige, try natin. Wala naman ngang mawawala. And at the same time, ayoko magbigay ng comment or ayoko magbigay ng any feedback regarding the product without me having to try it for myself. Okay, so just to share my experience, experience in terms of using medic hair nung una on my first month I don't see anything talaga feeling ko para nagsasayang lang ako ng oras at feeling ko talaga parang wala nangyayari there was also one instance after my first month of using medic hair na naglugas talaga yung buhok ko like literal after ko nagrun umuyaw sa bahay nagshower ako and namo-monitor mo naman kung gaano karaming buhok ang nawawala kapag ikaw ay nagshower and after that has happened actually medyo nawala na akong gana nung napansin ko medyo dumami yung paglugas ko ng buhok ko and uh, I stopped using it for over one week of course, with that one week, di naman ako nagsend ng oras. Naghanap ako, nag-research nag ako, and nag naghanap ako ng articles, and of course, talk to some people regarding hair loss. And I was fortunate enough, especially having you guys, my subscribers, giving me your opinions and sharing your stories about your hair growth as well. There, I came to find out that there are four stages to hair growth. First is yung anagen. This is the growing phase, no? Ito na yung tumutubo na yung buhok mo. Uh, malit na hibla. And then after which, magkakaroon tayo ng catagen phase. This one is the transition phase. Kung saan tumubo na talaga siya and then it's gonna reach its maximum length. And then telogen, this one is the resting phase. Ito na yung medyo mag-chill-chill na lang siya. Hindi na siya masyadong hahaba. And then after a while, this one is the exogen phase. Exogen is the shedding phase. Lahat talaga tayo guys ay nagkakaroon tayo ng hair loss or nagkakaroon tayo ng shedding or we shed at least 100 to 150 strands 
of hair per day na din natin napapansin. And by the way, pagka-exit ng buhok sa scalp natin ay magpapahinga yan for at least 3 months. So within 3 months, wala naman tutubo dyan. And then after which, magre-regrow siya ulit. And it's gonna enter to another anagen phase. So of course, with DHT or dehydrotestosterone, that is actually like a chemical that we produce. I will link some articles down below para alis mas maintindihan ninyo. But that is something that we produce, especially us male, that prevents the hair from growing. And once na meron na tayo sa scalp natin, hindi na tumutubo or nahihirapan ng tumubo ng bagong hibla ang ating mga buho. And then when I made my research about medic hair, it is a DHT blocker or dehydrotestosterone blocker. It's basically blocking DHT from preventing our hair to grow again. So ayun nga from there, sabi ko sa sarili ko, okay, dedere-derechoin ko to, it doesn't really matter. Even if naglugas ako, sige, try ko lang. Kasi at the end of the day, sabi nga nila dito, after 4 months, you will see visible results or at least evident results na meron talaga and this thing is working sa atin. So of course, I just moved on, naginagamit ko siya, I don't really talk about it that much dito sa channel. So fast forward to the third month, dito na ako nakita ng changes. So of course, nagtake ako ng picture ng first time ko siyang in-apply, that was June 25 and on my third month, nakita ko na na meron na siyang konting result at dito na ako natawa kasi usually kasi kapag nagbabrush ka ng buhok pataas after mong maligo, eh makikita mo talagang mataas na ang hairline as in makikita mo na para kang merong para meron ng M dito sa ulo ko and then after 3 months of using Medicare, doon ko na pasi parang unti-unti siyang buha baba. Nagsimula lang yan na I noticed na merong nangingitim na part sa scalp ko. Pero nakita ko na spots na black dito sa may bandang forehead. Doon ko lang na-realize. Baka eto na or baka may patubo na. And sure enough, yun nga, on the third month, nakita ko na na meron talagang improvement. Yung mga dating spots na walang buhok, meron na silang baby hair. At doon na medyo lumakas ang loob ko talaga. And doon na ako na-convince na possible talaga mag-work to sa akin. So ngayon, on my fourth month guys, eto na ang result natin. And I'm I'm very, very happy with the result. I mean, hindi man siya talagang buong-buo na yung hairline talaga ng diretsong ganun. Pero it is something and it's already it's starting to happen already for me. And it might take longer for some people. It might take shorter for some people. Pero I know that it was really worth a shot in trying to grow my hair again using Medicare. And I do understand that there will be some of you who are watching this video right now who are still doubtful with this product. I am also in the exact same position as you before. Always just on the fence thinking of is this gonna work for me or not? Is it worth my money? Is it worth the, the hassle, the trouble na ina-apply mo siya. Pero you know what? Eventually, it did it did pay off. And I will still continue to use this up until I get the, my desired result. And actually, even for maintenance kasi definitely with the stress that's coming in. And of course, syempre, because of what's happening right now, because of the whole pandemic, malaking factor ang stress sa paglulugas ng buhok natin. And that's why I decided na I think we really need to do something about my hair. So, ayun nga. I was on the fence just like you guys. One thing that I did realize as well is the earlier that you start using this product, the more hair that you're gonna be able to keep. The earlier that you give in and try this product, or at least give your chance to try and grow your hair again. And I really do believe that prevention is better than cure. Wag natin antay na talagang mapanot na tayo bago pa tayo gumawa ng action. Ngayon pa lang, if you know that you have like parents or American hereditary, um, issues in terms of like hair loss ngayon palang actionan mo na siya kagad wag mo na papatagalin para at least hindi ka na dumating sa stage na feeling mo nagkakaroon ka na ng hair loss so what am I gonna do moving forward I'm still gonna be using this that's for sure that's gonna be like a daily maintenance for me I'm very very happy with this product right here I can see and it's very visible we do have results already as I've mentioned it might not be the result na gusto natin kaagad pero at least in 4 months it was evident and it showed that this product will really work on you you just have to follow the steps and of course, with consistency, for sure, ma achieve mo yung gusto mo ma achieve dyan sa buhok mo. Now, there were some that reached out to me and were asking about the prices. Why is it too expensive? 1,700 or 1,900 pesos. I think that is not expensive because one bottle nagamit ko siya na at least two months. So, 1,900 sabi ni natin divided by two months, that's just only what it. Maga para lang nasa 900, 950 lang siya per month that you use it and depende pa sa'yo kung paano yung paggamit mo. Medyo lumakas sa paggamit ko ngayon kasi dating nilalagay ko lang sa kamay ko tapos ilalagay ko sa buhok ko. Ngayon, rekta na kagad sa buhok ko. Mas naging magasos na ako dito dahil alam kong it really works for me. Pero think of the usage kung gano'n mo siya katagal gagamitin and what's the value that's gonna bring to you if you have your hair back, if you have your hairline back, if you have your confidence back. So if you ask me, is it worth trying Medicare for men? 
I do think that it is a must try, especially if you are having the same problems as I am. And I must say, kahit marami ang mga caps na I really want to wear them kasi it parang meron kang crown na suot suot with the team and such. I do believe that your hair is still the best crown any guy could wear. So that's it for my update video, guys. And again, I'm very happy with this one. Don't forget to check them out. I will link their Facebook page on the description. I will link their Shopee page or Lazada page in the description. Go ahead and check them out. And I do hope this video enlightened you in terms of using Medicare, especially if you're looking for results before actually using the product. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for checking on this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button here on the bottom of the screen. It does help out with algorithm and it helps the channel grow. Bro, kung first time mo dito and you love sneakers, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos. So, nakakalbo ka na ba? May pag-asa pa yan, pre. Try Medicare. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.